So today is March the 10th, 2019. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. And the snow, as you can see right here, is about up to my knee. So that's about 18 inches or so. Maybe two feet, I don't know, about 18 inches. So there's a lot of snow still on the lawn and I'm hoping for it to melt within two or three weeks or something. Last year, I think at the very end of March, I did my first kind of cleanup mow with rotary mower. So there's quite a bit of snow still and I do not see any of my, uh, my tulips or my daffodils kind of coming up and poking their head out. So just kind of wanted to give you an update of what's going on here. So like I said, here is about uh, maybe 18 inches of snow. So here's quite a bit more snow. This is up to about my waist here. And that's probably a good maybe 40 inches or something like that. Maybe, maybe three feet up to here, over there. It's 18 and then probably over there, it's probably more like eight to 10 inches, if that. So anyways, I still got a lot of snow left and it's probably gonna take two or three weeks to melt. So I'm looking forward to the snow kind of being gone and spring starting to come. So I'm probably a good maybe month or two, at least a month or more until I'm gonna put my pre-emergent down. A lot of people have started their pre-emergent already. So I'm secretly jealous that, you, that some folks are putting their pre-emergent down, but it's a beautiful day today. It's probably maybe 35 degrees, maybe 40-ish. But it feels good because the sun's out and if I was out here for several hours or whatever, I'd need a coat, but just being out here for 10 minutes is, is fine. So it's looking really good, but I uh, still got quite a bit to go. So just giving a quick update on this machine here. This is my Toro Real Master 3100D. I've put it up on these blocks here and taken the tires off, taken all the reels off, and taken this big metal piece off of there drain the hydraulic fluid and I've got some serious issues going on here. If you can see here, this is totally rusted through and likely we'll just end up buying this new piece again. So this piece right here is totally rusted through. Whoa. So this piece right here is totally rusted through. If you can see right here, you can see daylight. This is a good quarter inch thick steel and she's rusted through. So. This thing pretty much lived in a swamp. I am convinced of that. And there's just rust everywhere. So I may get this fixed and take it to my welding guy and have him put a new plate on here. Or I may just buy a new plate. Likely end up just buying a new plate for this. So hopefully I'll get that this week and kind of go from there. So you can see right here, I've completely torn a lot of stuff out, all the hydraulic lines have taken off. The cutting units are off, the motors are off, the sidewinder unit is taken off, the, the hydraulic cylinders have been taken off. And I've just got a lot that I need to put back together. It's not gonna be too difficult to put back together as soon as I can get some new parts. They're not rusty. Um, it's turned out to be a little bit of an expensive project because it's so old and rusty. It will be in good shape when I get done with it. The motor does have like 3,500 hours on it, I think, but that's fine for the motor. The motor will go a long time. It's just all the rest of the parts kind of have been neglected, but if I can get it good to go, then it'll be fine. So if I can refurbish all the parts and put new seals in, and new hoses and stuff like that, it'll be fine and it'll go for a lot longer. So I'm not gonna be using this machine like a golf course would anyway, so um, as soon as I get done with it, it's gonna be fine. So I'm hoping to get this done within a week or two or three. Should be definitely be done by the time I'm ready to cut. I don't plan on using this to cut probably till about mid-April, so I've got about one month left and there's not a lot left to do on it. I was gonna kind of tear everything apart and totally clean it up, but I'm kind of running out of time. So I think I'm gonna do the minimum and get it working and get it functioning right. And then later, uh, maybe next winter, I'll tear apart into it a little bit more and kind of go from there. So anyways. <laughs> 